Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Roundup Special Edition for the NFL Draft. We are so excited to have you here with us today. I'm your host, Kendall Valenzuela. We are going to be going through NFL Draft best bets, some rumors that we may need to watch for Thursday, and, of course, our latest mock draft at FantasyLife.com. So let's get into it. Could seven quarterbacks actually be taken in the first two days of the NFL draft? And are the Vikings going to stay put? Let's go through it in our latest mock draft at FantasyLife.com. So we are going through Matthew Friedman's latest mock draft at FantasyLife.com, where you guys can all go and check it out 100% free. We are only going to go through the fantasy-relevant picks, which I know is shocking, but let's get into it. With the first overall pick, he has the Bears selecting Caleb Williams. I don't think we need to go into that much because it is, it's probably the worst-kept secret in the NFL right now. So Caleb Williams going to the Bears. Then he has the Commanders taking Jaden Daniels at uh, number two overall. Now with Friedman, we've seen a little bit of a flip. It's either been Jaden Daniels or it's been Drake May earlier uh, in the last couple months. So I like this pick of Jaden Daniels, but it seems pretty promising that we're going to have three quarterbacks go in the top three picks because there he has Drake May going to the Patriots at three. Again, this Patriots team, we're going to talk about rumors here in a little bit. They might be interested and willing to trade the number three overall pick, but they've got some problems that they need to address, especially at the quarterback position. So that would be pretty shocking if they did that. Then you have the Cardinals at the fourth overall pick taking Marvin Harrison Jr. Again, wide receiver one in the class. He is in a tier of his own in Dwayne McFarland's wide receiver tiers for the rookie supermodel. So again, no surprise there. Then you have Malik Neighbors going to the Chargers. Some have said that the Chargers could trade out of this pick. Some could say they could go for an offensive lineman at this pick, but they do need some weapons for Justin Herbert. We know that when we look at the depth chart of wide receivers, with no offense Quentin Johnson who didn't have a great season last year here's hoping that he has a better second season but they need to get Justin Herbert some weapons so I really like Malik Neighbors going here and then Roma Dunze going to the Giants they are to me a 1A 1B situation I think that Roma Dunze could be flipped and we wouldn't be shocked him going to the Giants uh, landing spot is probably not the best when we look at just overall who is their quarterback, but I love Roma Dunze. He is one of my favorite wide receivers in this draft, obviously, uh, so that could be an interesting one. Now we've got a little bit of space here where Friedman doesn't think that any fantasy-relevant players are going to go. We've got Brock Bowers going to the Jets uh, with the 10th overall pick. He is, again, in a tier of his own for Dwayne McFarland's tight end rookie supermodel. Not much to say here because he is really good and depending on fantasy landing spot this would be great for him if he went with Aaron Rodgers then we continue to go JJ McCarthy going number 11 overall to the Minnesota Vikings this one makes sense and in a lot of mock drafts that I've seen uh, people would have to trade up teams would have to trade up to go and get JJ McCarthy but I like this situation where if he does fall if the Vikings don't need to package up those two picks to go and get him they can keep number 11 and I believe number 23 overall and they can still get their quarterback they can still get their guy that would be amazing for them so then, shocking up here, I just want to say the Broncos, he doesn't have the Broncos taking a quarterback here. We have to remember that they just went and got Zach Wilson, so maybe that is their guy of the future. When we're looking for more fantasy relevant picks we're going to go a little ways here down towards the end which if this happens during the nfl draft it'll be a little bit of a lull for us uh fantasy lovers but that's going to be okay um, we'll continue to talk about it on our youtube show which you guys can see live during the nfl draft next up we have 28th pick brian thomas for the bills now again we're going to talk about rumors here in a little bit but the bills need wide receiver help stefan diggs is now with the houston texans so i think this is a great selection for them maybe we look at them for potential trades too if they want to go and get maybe a brand in during the draft is if someone is on uh, the trade block they should be picking up the phone and calling especially if it's a wide receiver and then we have down towards the end here the Kansas City Chiefs taking AD Mitchell again another great one I know that they went out and got Marquise Brown um, which I, I really like that but I know it's not as sexy of a pick Con continue to get more weapons for Patrick Mahomes continue to build on that dynasty I think this would be a great pick for them again fantasylife.com that's where you can read the full mock draft where you can read all the descriptions of why Matthew Friedman took people where they did fantasylife.com to go and check it out
The NFL Draft is just a couple days away, and you know what that means. The rumor mill is swirling. We're going to go through some of the rumors that we've heard and seen through social media, and if we think that that could actually happen during the NFL Draft. Let's start with a couple trades that I've seen. Brandon Ayuk and T. Higgins. Those have been the two wide receivers that I've seen the most in some of these trade rumors. Brandon Ayuk is looking to get a new deal done with the 49ers. You have their general manager, John Lynch, saying, hey, we want him here for the rest of his career. But we all know that when it comes to draft night anything can happen so we're going to keep an eye on him and same with T Higgins got the franchise tag from the Bengals maybe they are unable to work out a long-term deal and maybe they package him up and send him somewhere so I think those are two wide receivers that we need to watch for when it comes to teams and rumors there have been a lot of rumors that the number three overall pick with the Patriots and Gerard Mayo they are willing to trade that pick which I think would be a little bit shocking because that team needs a quarterback definitely desperately, but they said they're open for business, that they are taking calls, so that's one team to watch as well. Same with the Arizona Cardinals. That has also been a pretty badly kept secret that general manager Monty Austin Fort is ready and willing to potentially trade depending on what they get offered. So we could potentially see trades into the third overall pick and the fourth overall pick. We'll see what happens, but those are just some of the trade rumors that we've heard. What would a special edition of the Roundup be for the NFL Draft without a little bit of best bets? We're going to go over to FantasyLife.com, check out our bet tracker, and go through some of the best bets for Thursday night. So right now we're on FantasyLife.com. I want to break down two bets for you, but I want to pump our bet tracker one more time because these are all 100% free. We have over 40 picks for the NFL draft alone. So make sure you go to that drop down that says free picks. Make sure you go to NFL and that's where you can find the rest of these. But the two that I want to go through are from Matthew Friedman right here on the board Pro 75. First one is round one wide receivers under six and a half. So if we think about the mock draft that he just put out, you've got the big three wide receivers. You've got Roma Dunze, Malik Neighbors, Marvin Harrison Jr. And then he had A.D. Mitchell, and then he also had Brian Thomas. So there's five right there. If you believe that only five are going to go in the first round, this bet is for you. Same with this next one. Round one quarterbacks under four and a half. If you think that maybe the first three picks are going to be those quarterbacks, we've got Drake May, we've got Jane Daniels, and then of course we have Caleb Williams. And then maybe the J.J. McCarthy goes, right? Then you think to yourself is there going to be another one so I think there is really good value here plus 200 if you believe that some of those quarterbacks are going to slip I know we've talked about the rumors that six seven quarterbacks are going to go in the first two rounds but if you don't think that that's going to happen then I think this is a good one to lock in as well again fantasylife.com to go and check out our 100% free bet tracker for the NFL draft can't recommend it enough as always, thank you so much for joining us today on The Roundup. Make sure you go to FantasyLife.com before the NFL Draft starts on Thursday. We've got mock drafts. We've got best bets. Everything you need to know for the NFL Draft coming up is right there, all 100% free. We'll see you next time.